Hello everybody and let's start another episode of Restaurant on the Road. My name is Rodrigo Cabral, I'm your host and this space is dedicated for food and beverage and hospitality. If you don't work in this area but likes to eat, drink and have fun, this is also a space for you. Join me on this road. On this episode, I'll talk more about my career how I was introduced in hospitality even during my childhood, details from how I end up in F&B if my family was involved in different areas, how I developed myself from a waiter to a restaurant manager, from the moment that I was running my own restaurant that I got a lot of awards and lost a lot of money, victories and failures. Well, I was born in 1984 in Brasilia, Brazil. Both my grandparents, they used to move from one city to another, but on that stage, they had settled in the capital. The food in the capital is a big mix from our country. Our roots are from a different region of the country, in the Northeast, where food is a big part of people's life. It's my first memory of trying something different. Going there on vacation was the opportunity to try new flavors. I remember going to my grand-grandmother's house and watching the lady who used to work there preparing some delicious food from breakfast to dinner. Amazing, all delicious. Just simple food, traditional food. But just talking about it, I can still smell and my mouth get full of water. I remember the hotel that we used to stay, a huge hotel with a beautiful pool. Actually, we were kids. I passed by later, in a few years ago, and actually it's not that big hotel, but the pool is still there and it's beautiful. I remember the receptionist who used to play and make some jokes with us, you know. I remember about the connected rooms that me and my sister used to stay next to my parents. Great memories. When I was eight years old, I went on a trip to Walt Disney World with my parents. Wow. I still remember that trip like if it was yesterday. We stay in a simple hotel near the parks. Can you imagine a kid in a candy shop for the first time? Yes, that was me. Smiling all over and going to as many attractions as I could. And also trying new and different food. That was the first time I tried McDonald's, for example. I remember the big breakfast in the hotel. It was amazing. I can still remember the day, the first breakfast that we went to and I burned my tongue with a hot chocolate because I was not used to those stereo phones, fancy cups. What a magical experience. On that moment, I was already experiencing hostility overall with the long flights, the hotel, and especially the Disney parks that for me is without a doubt one of the best hospitality companies in the world. When I was 15, I went on a trip around Europe with my school handball team. Yes, I was a goalkeeper. Can you imagine? Yeah. So we went on a championship, in two different championships actually, in one in Norway and one in Denmark. After the tournament, we went on a trip around a few other countries in the region. So France, Italy, England. Again, experience with different hotels, taking ferry boats, sleeping on sleeping bag uh, in camps. I can say that I had a great introduction to this industry. Not only because of trying different flavors, but also because of traveling around the world and staying in different hotels. But all of that was not important at that moment. I was sure I was going to follow my family business. Marketing was my dream. I was very talkative. I had a lot of friends around the country. And I can say people used to like to hang out with me. After high school, I started immediately to work with my father on his marketing consultancy company. The first year was amazing. I had my whole family helping me with my projects in college. And most of the teachers, they loved me and they knew my family from the market industry. Here, I was also again involved in hospitality without knowing. I was part of the student organization, talking to the students, organizing events, and sometimes even talking to suppliers. In the end of the first year, my father asked me to help him with a project for a new restaurant in the city. We have never worked with food and beverage, so we decided to take that project and use our marketing knowledge to develop a business plan and to understand how we could market that place. 
we decided to hire a chef to teach us about hospitality and food and beverage. He was going to give us the directions on the basics and we used to work on the brand and the marketing side. When the project was almost ready and the construction of the restaurant had just started, my father's client asked him to find him a partner who would take care of the business. We were so involved that my father decided to take the risk and be the one ahead of the operation. That's how my family ended up in the food and beverage business. From that moment onwards, our lives would change drastically. My mother, she was an English teacher. My father, he was running his marketing consultancy company and I was just starting my marketing career. So we accepted actually that, that challenge and started working on our business. To be honest, we started actually to swim in our first business. We hired our first staff from other restaurants so we could have people with a little bit more experience than us to help us running the restaurant. My father straight away put me as a waiter to start from the beginning and that was really helpful. The chef who we hired helped us to train our first staff members and also we stayed close to help us to understand more about the business. But nothing is all perfect. We were kind of living a dream, running our own restaurant, running our own business. Father, mother, son, everybody together. But of course, we had some bad moments as well. We had moments that we could not separate our personal life from our professional life. We would be sitting for lunch at my grandmother's and discussing business. Sometimes at home, we would have an argument from a decision that was made and one of us would not agree. I also need to highlight some inside issues. We had staff members stealing from us. We had employees having an affair with guests and we didn't know how to deal with all of that. We started learning more and more. Of course, my father, he traveled abroad to learn and do some trainings to understand better the business. We had finance people coming and teaching my mother how to deal with all that paperwork. We hired people to teach us about wine, to teach us about uh, food and safety. So yes, we had a lot of trainings. And yes, it was a great school. After six months, we managed to won our first award. And that was great. That helped us to drive more business in once people started learning that we were already open. At this stage, my father was invited to become the president of the Brazilian Restaurant Association in our city. That was a great opportunity for him and also for me. Once he was not able to spend a lot of time in the business, I became the manager. We had that restaurant for five years. After some internal issues, and yes, that was the first moment that we lost a lot of money, we decided to step out of the business and look for new opportunities. Of course, in hospitality and food and beverage. That was the moment that I joined different restaurants and bars in the city as a manager. My father, he decided to open his own restaurant. And my mother, she shifted completely. She is now working for the government. In 2010, I had already worked in several different restaurants in the city and developed my skills. Went through a lot of trainings, visit a lot of events and conferences in Brazil and abroad. It was time to find something new. That would be my first international experience. I applied for a position in a restaurant in downtown Dubai. But where is Dubai? Yes, actually, that's what my friends used to ask me when I was talking to them, mentioning that I was moving there. Some of them actually got shocked because they already seen the big things that we had to see around Dubai. I took the job and started my great experience. I joined as assistant manager in a Latin restaurant in downtown facing Bush Khalifa, the tallest building in the world so far, and the dancing fountains in front of it. Here is when my true hospitality career gave a big jump. Big brands, big hotels, big restaurants, they invest a lot in trainings and we were sent to many different trainings from management skill to tra wine trainings. And I can tell you, it worth every second spent on those trainings. In 2012, when I went back home to visit my family and friends, my father, he had a great surprise for me. Actually, he was just waiting for me to land to tell me that he was opening a new restaurant and he wanted me to his, be his partner and take care of the whole operation. It was like a dream come true, having my own restaurant. 
my own team, training them, guiding them. It was great. It was an amazing experience, especially after spending two years in Dubai and experiencing all the best of the best in food and beverage and hospitality industry. We opened the restaurant and it was a big success. My guests from the restaurant that I was managing before moving to Dubai, they all came to visit, family and friends as well. I got an award as the best new chef in the city and the restaurant, the best new restaurant and the best Brazilian restaurant as well. We also got a star on a very prestigious travel guide in Brazil. As you can expect, things changed a little bit throughout the years and we decided to close the restaurant, unfortunately. However, I still have the brand and the recipes. Maybe in the future I can bring it back. Who knows? And here there is a small break. Actually, just to say that meanwhile I got married. Yes, I got married to an old friend who was also the owner of a restaurant. My wife, she was running the pizzeria from her family for more than 10 years by that time. See, life is crazy. We never know what to expect. When we had our restaurant open, we received a lot of requests to open different concepts around the city. And guess what? After I closed the restaurant, I decided to try a new concept inside a motorcycle dealership. It was a mix of a burger place with a bar, an open area, and actually with live band. It worked really well in the beginning. However, in Brazil, we have a lot of issues about entertainment, music, noise, that in the end, we had to close the bar. Another moment that we lost a little bit of money, but didn't stop us of dreaming. After those experiences, I was invited to join the Brazilian Restaurant Association as executive director. I was traveling around the country, discussing and working on public policies. And also, I decided to take a little bit of time and help my wife with her pizzeria, always keeping my eyes open for new opportunities. In 2017, me and my wife we decided to go on a trip to Thailand, Singapore and Dubai. What a great experience! The hotels, the food, the places we visit, all amazing. And the last stop, Dubai, when I realized that that was the place to be. I kept in touch with my best friend in Dubai, and I told him to please keep me updated if something comes up. I would move immediately. And boom, 2017, end of 2017, I got my offer letter. This time as a banquet manager in a great hotel in Dubai Marina. It was amazing. I managed to keep learning with those amazing trainings that this region have to offer us. And of course, kept growing. I moved through the three different restaurant concepts in the same hotel, from mid-volume to high-volume venues. It was a great experience. But now, time to move again. After two years, I received an offer to go to a hotel in Abu Dhabi. Actually, moving from Dubai to Abu Dhabi was a bit scary, I must confess. But in the end, the company, the restaurant, the concept, and everything else around helped me to make my decision. And here I am now, talking to you now, opening my personal life, opening my house, to share my experience with you, to help you to develop and grow. Are you interested? Join me on this road. Cheers.